Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, wanted to uh, post a quick update. Shouldn't won't be a long video. Um, today is day five post corneal cross linking surgery. Uh, the first four days were very very rough. Um, although I I only really had pain for the first two days or so. Um, but my vision and the light sensitivity were off the charts for those first few days. Um, yesterday was day four. I did, um, have a pretty significant improvement in my life, light sensitivity. Um, and the pain is pretty much completely gone. Um, there were bandaged contact lenses in my eyes for the first four days. Uh, and I think a lot of the discomfort was the contacts. I, it, I think the most maddening thing was I felt like I had an eyelash in both eyes. Um, and if you, you know, if you're familiar with that feeling, um, imagine that just around the clock. Uh, I was trying, I have antibiotic drops I do three times a day. Other than that, I was pretty much just using refresh eye drops about once an hour, trying to, um, keep my eyes moist to try to keep that sensation down. Um, yesterday I went in for an appointment. My eyes are healing. The actual, the epithelial uh, layer, according to the doctor, is actually regrown all the way across. It's obviously not as thick as it was before they removed it, but that will continue um, to heal. And the cornea will continue to um, change shape over time. Um, but I got the bandage contacts out and as soon as I got the bandage contacts out, uh, my vision, um, improved, uh, pretty significantly, although my vision is still extremely blurry and cloudy, uh, with my prescription glasses on, it's better, but my prescription is likely to change. They told me, so as my cornea, um, hardens, these glasses may not be as effective as they were before. Um, but my pain level is down. I do have dry itchiness continuously. Today's my last day of antibiotics, and then I will switch to a month of uh, steroids and just continue on with uh, the um, refresh eye drops as much as needed. I cannot, I, I've had to avoid getting my head wet still. Uh, I cannot swim for a month, uh, which is a bummer because we're going to Legoland. But, um, I can say that um, the light sensitivity is, is has improved almost back to normal, um, unless it's uh, you know I'm staring standing directly facing the sun, not looking at it. But if if I'm standing facing it, um, it's pretty bright. Um, TV, um, it's Christmas time, and so a lot of movies with a lot of white snow, bright white, uh, those things seem to. Uh, still bother me so I put my sunglasses on to watch uh, certain things uh, just kind of go off how I feel though so if I feel I need my sunglasses I'll go grab them uh, otherwise I'm, I'm kind of back to wearing my normal glasses though uh, everything is blurry um, I'm hoping to be able to read fairly normally um, by day 10 so I have a follow-up in about another week um, and then from there, we'll just see where it goes. I was told at one month, I would need to go in for an optometry appointment to reorder my lenses uh, because my corneas will change shape and this, this prescription is going to actually be bad. I, I still can't drive. I'm technically legally blind from a DMV point of perspective. But I hope at some point in uh, the next three or four days to see enough of an improvement to feel comfortable driving. Um, I wouldn't dare drive at night at all, um, uh, for quite at least a month, but during the day, um, they told me about after that 10 day mark on the 29th, I should be able to drive during the day. Anyways, um, it is a lot better than, uh, a lot easier than I thought. Um, not being able to drive or go anywhere is, I mean, it's the middle of COVID still. I am mean, pretty used to. Staying home and not doing anything, uh, was able to work out today, wasn't able to work out for the first 48 hours, uh, so it's nice that I can at least do something like that, but, 
Um, if you're getting ready to have surgery, have hope. The first few days do suck. You can't see anything really. Uh, you're, I slept with a black t-shirt draped over my head uh, to black out the light because even if all the lights off and, the, and just the TV on in my bedroom, it was just unbearable those first two nights. Um, I was wore a hoodie and pulled it over my face in the car on top of my having um, my sunglasses. Uh, one thing that did help a lot um, I had my grandfather had a pair of blue blockers left over from his glaucoma surgery. Uh, so I took those, they black out the light from the, on the tops and the sides. Um, those were extremely helpful. I think you can get those in Walgreens or CBS, um, in the pharmacy. Um, they, you give those out a lot of the time when you have your eyes dilated, but a lot of older people wear them, um, and though I looked like my grandfather, and uh, I didn't care because it, it dramatically helped the light sensitivity issue. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Uh, there is hope. It's not bad. And so far, I feel extremely blessed to have um, caught my keratoconus uh, when I did. And I'm happy I'm on the road to recovery. Anyways, uh, take care and good luck with your surgery.